What's up, you guys? Welcome to Tools in Action. Today, we got something very cool on the show, and it's all electric. Two hours or two acres is what this new Ryobi cordless riding lawnmower is going to do. It's the uh, RM480E, and it's basically their first, pretty much the first cordless riding mower we've seen um, available at a big box store. We used to have something called the Raven. This, that, that was quite different to this on a number of fronts, but that actually had a gas engine that charged uh, some batteries that gave you just electric drive power it didn't have the electric uh you couldn't mow electrically even though it had electric mowers the advantages to these setups is they're more efficient they do not have um belts they just use big motors to power big brushless mowers to power the uh blades on the bottom and also you don't have to mess with gas so over the summer you know you'll be mowing when you're done for the winter you just throw it away and hopefully Next year, batteries charge and you're off and good to go. Going over the whole unit here, everything seems to be really cool on it. Uh, from the buttons, they seem really high quality to the whole frame. The way it comes, it gets shipped to you in a metal crate and you actually keep that crate. You could throw it out, um, just, bar, you know, just throw it at your curb. The metal guys will take it. But uh, in our case, we might build a trailer out of it because it's that cool of a crate. I mean, not that you know, most of you are going to worry about a crate. Uh, operation of the vehicle, pretty much just like any other mower you would have. You have your control panel here. You're going to switch it to on. There's a battery indicator here that tells you the charge and uh, hours, percentage of battery left, and voltage. On the front of that is some LED lights. The next is cruise control, which you can see works really good. Pretty much you just set it and forget it and you're on cruise control and a rear reverse implementation. So if you need to back up while the blades are running, you can. Uh, up here is your PTO, and then you have a forward reverse and neutral switch. When you put it in reverse, it beeps like a big truck, which is pretty cool. So if I pull this, the blade should come on. We haven't had a chance to mow yet because the grass is not that high, so we've just been messing around with it. But it does seem like a lot of power. And our experience with the Raven, it definitely had more power to the ground than a traditional belt gas-driven uh, vehicle. So right here, you guys, you have a USB charging port. So you can charge your phone or whatever. And it actually has a slick area here that you can put your phone. It's actually perfect. Mm -hmm. So it goes into the blades and you lose yeah. your iPhone. <laughs> now, so uh, you guys, like I said, to just start, we're just gonna put it forward and you give it throttle. Now, as you can see, I'm giving it half throttle and it doesn't really kick in until about half. Hold on. So if, there's a lot of play there. So it doesn't kick in until right about half. And they're slow. And when you nail it. So when you nail it, it takes off. It's got a lot of safety features. Hold on, let me turn around. It's got a really good turning radius on it. Um, yeah, I think it's like 16 inches or something. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, a couple things too, you want to know it too. It's uh, 12 hours of charge time, and you're gonna get about, what is it, two hours of run time or two acres? Yeah. Two acres. The seat is adjustable, which is nice, so you've short people yeah. along, people can sit in it, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really nice mower you know and a good thing 38 is, inch deck 38 inch deck and you guys the cool thing is is it's from ryobi so you know you're gonna have support for it you know at the home depot there's gonna be um yeah you know, if you have a problem you're just gonna be able to take it in there or take it back or call them or they're gonna take care of you on it i'm not sure what the warranty is off the top of my head but we will have a thorough review on this you guys once the spring comes and we have some grass to mow and the nice thing is too it's a little i think it's like 575 pounds so it's not like it's a little lightweight machine that you're gonna you know tip or roll over easy it's got some weight to it so yeah. it's gonna stay down it's definitely gonna keep your the only bad thing is it's gonna put your mower tune-up guy out of business yeah because you don't need to anymore but that's right? actually a good thing for you bad thing for him so that's it you guys so i'm off i'm going over to eric's house he lives about 13 miles from here and we'll see how see if it <laughs> makes get there. <laughs> no i'm kidding tools of action you guys remember for more exciting tool action go to toolsinaction.com